I know this is death match waiting for a lobby, but so many Cassidy's because they, they have to have their flashbang. <laughs> they have to have it. It's such a crutch. Hello. I Hello. Was gonna, I was like, thought I could hide, but I couldn't. Episode 32, Easy Lot Podcast. I'm kind of hiding. That, got that out of the way. I'm What's like up? It's your boy hiding. Twiz and Soapy. We're back again after the first week of OWL. That's right. Crazy, what man. What was it? Like opening weekend kickoff or what was the name of the tournament? <sighs> kickoff Clash. Kickoff Clash. That's the name of the tournament. Honestly, yep. it feels so good to actually have like a ton of content to come back to to talk about and not have to be like, Shit, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> Stalling for content for eight episodes? Um, Yeah, but oh my, we're full screen now. Um, Yeah, so we're back. We had a ton of matches. I think we had almost, I think was it 10 matches? This It was a lot. There were a lot of matches. Every um, every North American team played at least once. Yeah, some teams played twice. No APAC teams yet. No, no APAC teams. No, that's true. No kickoff clash for APAC, unfortunately. Wait, actually, I could just tell you because there's... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 14 or 15 games. That's nuts. Okay, well, before we get into that, as always, what have you been up to this week? Uh, playing some Apex. Hey, playing... we have an easy clap of the week this week. Yeah, we way. do. We had one last week. We had one last did week. We? Oh, yeah. yeah, we did. We did. We, so playing some Apex, playing some Overwatch, watching a lot of Overwatch this last week, Duh. and watching some Overwatch in person, getting True. to be a part of the first crowd to watch in-person Overwatch League in two years. Pretty unironically that's, pog champ. That's pretty sick. I Remember when they were supposed to do the fucking playoffs? And then yes. they said, just we, were, we were actually going to go to, what was it, Dallas or was it LA? <laughs> yeah, it was Dallas. And they were like, nah, just kidding, it's canceled. Yeah. Oh, man, that's sad. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. But that was a smart cancel. COVID was like at its peak. <laughs> Yeah, we've been playing a while, at least, well, yeah, me too. Like Overwatch 2, because the beta is going to be up soon. Um, uh, eight days, if you're watching this oh, live, shit. and yeah, then if mind. you're going to watch it tomorrow, seven days. I'm thinking of the um, a- the Apex season. Apex season. <laughs> like... a- Apex season is actually over tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. if you're watching today. Um, but yeah, Overwatch 2 has still been a lot of fun. I'm still having a lot of fun playing Tank, which I know like most people want to play anyways, but surprisingly... Healer still feels fine. I don't really care that the whole like healer's the worst thing to play right now. Dude. Zen Zen did get a buff. Zen definitely has a 300 Spartan kick. Yeah, but that's in Overwatch one also, isn't it? Uh yes. Okay. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Um honestly, I think Honest still so much fun to play in Overwatch 2. And I think as long as you're not playing Baptiste, I still have fun playing Overwatch 2. Or yeah, Overwatch 2. Overwatch 1 is still fun. I don't really care. Like Overwatch One is now full of like throwers and trolls, but like actually, it's like it's quite literally the people that don't either don't have access to Overwatch Two, or they just like fucking are like now that I have access, I'm just gonna throw SR and like fucking bother you all day long. So. Yeah, or they like have access and they're like actually getting shit stomped because you can't play your like crutch hero because let me tell you, every single I know this is death match waiting for a lobby, but so many Cassidy's because they they have to have their flashbang, <laughs> they have to have it. It's such a crutch. Yeah. Uh, but it is weird transitioning from two back to one to play competitive because then you kind of forget like certain abilities. Like I think you were saying dude, like when on I played Arisa. fucking Arisa and I almost I tried to throw a javelin and I shot a shield to someone. I was like, like okay, eight well. years <laughs> of, eight years forward, it's like sick. Thank it's you. like Thanks, uh, that wasn't helpful. Um, yeah, I, I mean it's the gameplay is the same going back. It's just like different it's abilities just more, and stuff. And it, quite literally, just more toxic now. Yeah, although. I did have a game with record-setting elims on Moira of all people. I'm part of the 0.5% of Diamond Moira players. 72 elims, by the way. That's pretty fun. Um, that was a good game. I don't know. I like the like the team aspect of Overwatch One still that you kind of miss in Overwatch Two a little bit. Someone said that Overwatch Two seems like a just more polished version of Team Fortress. Oh, okay. I was gonna. Th- I thought you were gonna say like Overwatch One. Like, no, it's not. No, no, no. Like it, Team Fortress, where it, it's quite literally just. Like I said before, like a, a free for all, essentially. Yeah, it feels like that game mode in Paladins. You know what I'm talking about? Like, there's a game mode in Paladins, like light control. But, oh yeah, 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 dude, it feels like that. Where it's like you're basically just all offensive heroes, and you have one healer with you. And even if you don't have a healer, you can just make your character get life steal because the healer impact in this game is can you stay alive <laughs> quite literally <laughs> and then if you can do more than that that's great but staying alive is enough so yeah so for all you supports that were like cooling it behind double shield you actually kind of kind of learned positioning i made that comment during a game because it was like we had a soldier who was 
dead more often than not. And it's like, I don't think people realize like when double shield's not there, like you, you actually have to have game sense now. You can't just herd her behind a shield. Oh, I'm going to play Zen and volley orbs eight miles down the, down the way with no drop off. You know what I mean? You yeah. have to actually, you have to actually know the game and have some game sense. So I think a lot of you like plat players will actually Damn, realize that, that you're, you're gold players. You, you know what I mean? Plat players. No, I honestly, I think everyone that, is so accustomed to double shield and not really ready to adapt may potentially fall a whole like rank. I think also you'll fall a whole rank based off more people playing the game also. Yeah. Like people will come back that are just naturally good at the game. And, and then they'll... people will come back that are naturally not good at the game, <laughs> but their MMR hasn't reset in over three years. Yeah. And so like you're going to fall down probably more likely. And unless... the top 500 is definitely going to be a lot more a lot competitive. Different. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it'll probably feel a lot like Apex does if they're Predators late season because most of the time when you're Apex Predator, you just keep gaining SR. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so you, the the SR to get to Predator starts getting super high to where it's like well, I saw unreachable. One, I've been watching Asu recently and like I remember that him asking like one of the guys he was queued with like, hey, what's the uh, like, you know what the floor is for Apex Predator right now? Dude, it's so high. And they were like, oh, it's like 16K. And then like three days later, that same person was like 18.5 and was not an Apex Predator. Yep. And it was only like two more days. And Ace, people are always like, Asu, when are you going to be number one? When are you going to be number one? And he's like, I quite literally don't play this game enough to be number one. And he plays eight hours a day. Actually fucking incredible. Yeah. Because he, I mean. I would say if they were to play 10 games, Asu goes positive SR 7 out of the 10, and he's been hard stuck like around 130, like yeah. Apex Predator 130. Yeah, when I was about to hit Masters, I was like, well, I'm going to make a push for Apex Predator, but it was too late in the season. And when I realized, I was like, dude, I still have like thousands of SR to gain, not just like, oh, I need to gain two more thousand. It's like you need to go, it's almost like RuneScape where they say like level 95 is half, or 92 is halfway to 100. 100 because it's like, it's, it's like yeah. the same thing. It's like you go from bronze all the way up to like masters and it's like you almost have to do that again just to Dude, yes. scratch Dude, And you're playing against players that are masters and preds and that sucks. And yeah. like, the see, it's like, I think of it like Overwatch where it's like once you hit GM, like when you're at 4,000, um, a lot of times on like tank and support, you only have to get up to 4200 sometimes yeah. 4100 and you're top 500 well there's times where like i've even seen like watching space where he's like 42nd and then he wins literally one game and now he's like top 10 yeah like, like that's how close the gap is yeah there. and like people aren't just like going on crazy win streaks at in like top 500 or to get to it so it's not like raising the floor that often so whatever that's a i think that's 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 that that's that, our explanation of what comp is going to look like essentially <laughs> anyway so we start talking about overwatch league season five ep episode one <laughs> week one yeah season five, um, week so one. these are the qualifiers to get into you kickoff kick, kick off, yeah the kickoff god damn bro you know they change the name um pretty frequently well not frequently but the last couple seasons i feel like there's just constantly been different names for things um so like you said most teams played two matches i think we can i don't know how you want to do this first off why don't we just do general takeaways of like week one was there anything that like specifically stood out about the game or the teams or what happened, like the outcomes, the players, like what, anything? Uh, the fact that we saw every single tank played except for Arisa. Arisa. Which we predicted to be the number one tank yeah. being played. Okay, Ball, so, didn't, Ball didn't get so, played, but, us. but Ball was Ball like, was actually disabled. restricted. Yeah, yeah he yeah, was yeah. restricted because of a glitch in the system where he would boot you from the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> actually, like actually remove you from the game is kind of weird. Yeah. Um, so we, we'll see Ball next week because they Sean Miller tweeted that Ball is now active again. Yeah, I mean, I wonder. Like, well, you hope you see Ball. I have like a weird feeling that like some people might have played Ball over Monkey. Um, because we saw teams play D.Va. And I feel like. They'll be like, well, let's try ball because Diva Ball was so good. And I now saw that a tweet that Shanghai may pull out some weird thing where Who Are You plays Genji and Fleta goes to Doomfist. Oh, I thought you say Sojourn. Um, no, Fleta goes to Doomfist and Lich dude, stays. Well, like, Fleta's got a really good Genji, but you do have Who Are You on your team who, like, competed with Haxall on Genji. And Haxall's, like, one of the greatest Genjis to ever play the game. So, like, dude, that'd be crazy. Um, I also saw this thing where they did a 1v1 on Sojourn, uh, Fleta and Lip. I don't know if you saw this. They did like a first to no, 10 and Fleta won 10 3, and it like wasn't fucking close. <laughs> like, so, apparently, that's Sojourn his fucking also character. only got played for about a minute uh, on King's uh, yeah. Row by the Washington Justice, right? Or is it Toronto? I think it might have been Toronto. I, it was during their match. That's all yeah. I fucking They know. were playing Widow, 
And then the logic is, well, the other team's playing Reinhardt, so I'm, I'm just, just going to gonna... <laughs> charge up on his shield, and then essentially my railgun shot is a Widowmaker shot. So, yeah. But then that wasn't getting any value either because Sojourn just kind of is cheeks and thighs right now. That's true. I think one of my biggest takeaways is, one, the teams that were doing good in scrims before aren't necessarily the teams that are good now just because you didn't scream you didn't scrim every team. Most likely you didn't scrim the team you were playing this week anyways. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this whole like um Oh, they dominated in scrims. Yeah. Clearly, so like we there was a match outcome that we'll bring up <laughs> that I don't think anyone expected. Well like so like Florida, like they were bad in scrims going into it. Like horrendously bad. Yep. And then and Dallas was like dominating team in scrims. Houston was really bad in scrims apparently. But it's like okay, they weren't playing the teams they played this week and their matchups are different every single week. So I think that's one thing to take into, like to take away from this week. Um, this week was like experimental. Like you can't really take much away from week one, I don't think. Because if you would have made that same prediction last year of week one, Houston Outlaws would have been the number one team, <laughs> yeah. right? Because they, they slayed the shot. I will shot. say, you, which, what you can do is take away like player skill. Because, yeah, exactly. Because like if there's a time to be clutch, it's probably the right when the fucking game comes out. Mm -hmm. And like I think we saw some players that like really stood out that we expected to. And then some that were like, wait, this player is actually like, he's kind of cracked. And like, we also saw that supports can actually make big game big changing plays, plays but they can also like get like, they could turbo feed or it's not even their fault. Honestly. No, it's like, not. we'll talk about one of them where I think they've already get, said, like, I mean, it is just a hard knock life for a support player right now in overwatch too. Yeah. There was one specifically that got farmed and he is a very good support player. It's just the team he was playing against, literally their sole objective was like, we're going to fucking dive Myeon Vong and he's just going to constantly die. Not sponsored. Um, <laughs> Maybe sponsored. Uh, okay, so then let's... I've got a whole list. You know, I've got a little list. All right. Um, do you want, is there anything that surprised you about this week? Um, you can you can spoil. It's fine. We'll, we'll go into the matches, but... Nobody, everyone was saying Echo was harder to play in Overwatch 2. Like, that was just, like, the general consensus because Echo is such hard meta in Overwatch 1. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pelican decided to pull out Echo, and <laughs> holy shit, he had yeah, a flood of deadlift in the first game that they played. And yeah, Pelican's crazy. For anyone that doesn't know what a flood of deadlift, deadlift is, that's when you have uh, more final, more than half of your team's final blows on a single, like, a single person. So I think, what did he have, 26 final blows, and the total was 30 of the yeah, match? Yeah, like he had like more than all of his team combined, pretty much. Yeah, so. and that's insane. And his Echo couldn't be stopped. Even with hit scan, he couldn't be stopped. Yeah, you would think with how good Soldier's being played right now, and people were playing Ash a little bit. I, we saw Cassidy for like one round. You wouldn't think Echo would still be this good because, they're, I don't know, the, map, the way the maps are set up, I feel like it isn't good for flying heroes at originally, but... I don't know. Um, I think, man, there's so many things that I was surprised about this week. One, why the fuck are we playing Monkey? To me, Winston doesn't feel good. He just feels like he dies less often because of his ult, like that gives him all of his health back. That's the only reason I can think teams are playing Monkey because like you get way more value probably out of playing Ball, definitely out of playing Doomfist, and maybe even D.Va. Like, you think, know what I mean? I think you're playing Monkey because he can easily counter the Genji. And since there's no stun, you're hoping to, like, either jump on the Genji or jump on their back line. Yeah, I just think we saw so many times that, well, you know what? Maybe maybe it's like we farm Nano off of Monkey and give it to Genji. Yeah. Because we Nano saw, Blade or Nano Visor. That yeah, was, that was a some, huge takeaway. We saw because some Nano Monkeys and they did nothing. nothing. No. Like, absolutely nothing. And a lot of the time, Monkey Ultimate was literally just to accidentally knock, not accidentally, but knock someone from the other team into your team so you could solo that one person. Yeah. It was no longer like, I'm using my ult to juggle you on a wall because I think there was a time where, it was, I think it was Fearless, like, had Ana in a corner for his whole ultimate. Now, he got the kill, but it took his whole <laughs> ultimate to kill Ana with her nade or passive healing. Yeah. Lucio coming in and speed, or um, amping heals. I mean, it's... You know what else you saw this week was... Um, if you're losing a fight on a point, you'll recontest with two people because that's almost half your team already. Mm -hmm. And then if they can stay alive for a little bit, your whole team's back already because DPS have the speed boost. Yep. So you don't see it in Overwatch 1 because... And most teams are playing Lucio, so like two-thirds of your team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like you don't see it in Overwatch 1 because you'll just get ran over by like six people on point or five people on point. But in this game, it's like 
you play more spread out. So if two people can recontest, you can basically take a point back over. And we saw Houston do it against Dallas where it was like, oh, like Dallas is about to cap, like it, whatever, we'll, they're going to back up. And it's like, actually, just kidding. We're going to contest with one player. We saw it on Midtown also with Paris Eternal and Florida Mayhem. The uh, what, What's his name? The soldier player for Paris. Um, oh, golly. I want to say Naga, and it's uh, literally not Naga. Naga is the, the, the Genji. <laughs> Look, look at me being fucking brain dead and not remember. Honestly, but he was like just on a hard flank around the fire truck. Oh, Glister. Glister, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He I forgot he signed it, with it. It's yeah, just yeah. literally just a nano nano visor. 1v5s them. Dude. Well, yes. I guess 2v5s them, but yeah. nano visor just shredded. You know what I mean? So that's kind of nuts. Yeah. That, that you, know that you, works. you know what you didn't see, though? You didn't see Lucio's feet that often. No. Like, Lucio's. Well, because Lucio had to get nerfed in for anyone that's playing like beta now. Beta now. Lucio got a hard nerf because. I mean, with amp heals, with being able to wall ride and speed boost away, his with heals. his passive heals now with for all supports, he was l quite literally unkillable in a 1v1. Like, I think that was part of the problem. Like, so cracked out soldiers were losing 1v1s to Lucio's. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I kind of felt like people were going to be too ambitious on Lucio because one... Oh, this is another thing. The whole, like, you sign two flex supports, but you don't have a main support... Does not fucking matter. No, they're One just flexing dip, over to Lucio and they're getting matter. getting max value still. Yeah, like when we saw specifically Houston play, like without a, a main support, bro, it did not fucking matter. No. Like they kind of popped off with a Lucio. Like Houston, like, Houston had like a lot of derogatory marks because they were like, okay, double flex support and only one tank. And guess what they <laughs> Yo, did? They said, they said <laughs> Dante is actually going to be one of our tanks. So DPS Dante over to Doomfist tank and then double flex support still works well for the most part yeah i i think we can i mean we can talk about houston in a second they because they kind of like i don't know if the meta worked out for them really well or if like i think it was just their the surprise. team is so flexible because i also just think it was the surprise because it's like we really didn't see too many doomfist players no we but really, no. dante seemed to be like i mean granted if we put if we every tank in the league on doomfist I think Dante's still like high up on that list, but just by just watching one game of Houston Outlaws alone, you could have told you could you could easily make that prediction that he is probably, if not the number one Doomfist yeah. right now. I mean, it was one of his characters he played on DPS anyways mm -hmm. that made them really good. So it, it's he said it was like I just tried it out and it just felt like just natural felt right. kind of yeah. yeah. Especially because now his main job isn't to like not feed anymore because you die so quickly in overwatch one on doomfist overwatch two doomfist you can stay alive for quite a bit so mm -hmm. like his job's a little easier and you now. have the cc which yeah. most <laughs> which most characters don't have anymore yeah and we saw you know there were some players that pulled out doomfist that lesson if you did not practice doomfist i feel like it was apparent in these matches yeah there's because, no you can't panic pick doomfist bro fearless on doomfist might have been the fucking worst tank we saw the whole fucking all the whole weekend yeah it was like he was really bad on Doomfist. I think he ended that round then, like f with only four kills kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then also it was – no, Toronto Defiant were fine with them. It was when um, Boston played them. Okay, Marvel, Itzel, Punk. Bro, I'm pretty sure all three of them played Doomfist at one point. Like Punk was pretty good at Doomfist. Marv, Marvel, Marvel and whatever. Okay-ish. But it was kind of like – you, they were just like, dude, you have to play him because apparently he's good. And I feel like you can't do that and expect to win. Now, granted, they got super fucking lucky and they did win. But, like, they deserve to lose against Vancouver. Yo, they really did. Vancouver just foreheaded and walked off point. <laughs> because the first C9 of the yeah, Over that's Over tough. Overwatch League 2022. Although there weren't really too many matches where there were, like, stomps. No. Because it kind of felt like every team... Had even if moments. they lost 3-0, yeah, they were still tight. Because I think I said the, even the first day, the, I, Florida Mayhem get the unfortunate draw of San Francisco Shock, who are absolutely cracked out of their minds right now. But they didn't look and, bad. No, like I think I even texted you like on the first round, and I was like, wow, like they lost this round, but they really like almost seemed like a win in my book for the Florida Mayhem because last year's Florida Mayhem would have not even they would have been hundred point clubbed yeah, every single map. Have. Yeah, that was. Yeah, also like, okay. The New York Excelsior might have been the team with the highest high and the lowest low, where it was like sometimes they felt like they were really fucking on point, and then sometimes it felt like it was just Yaki doing stuff, and then no one else could help him. Yeah. And then... Poor Yaki. <laughs> I mean, dude, he was trying out there. I and mean, then, not that everyone else isn't trying, but, like, you could see the difference. Yeah. And then I think a team that 
I just seem, I feel like Florida just kind of was uneventful. Yeah, he was. Yeah. A team that, um, on, also, on but, soldier, you know what I mean? It's like one of those things where it's like the character almost plays himself. Yeah, but, at that point. but, but we saw another player do that and we'll talk about that. Okay. Quick. Next segment change. I, I got the segment down. All right. Uh, winners and losers. Okay. I'm not saying this team won, this team lost just in general, like the takeaway of how they're going to do in the future, what their stocks, stonks look like right stonks. now. Stonks. Like, it, do you have any winners or losers for first week going into the second week? I, I so if, I, I want to say Houston Outlaws because of their performance against Dallas. So you're saying like they're, they they I, had a win of a week? Yeah, they went. I want to say that, but then they also lost to okay. Toronto, which but, is like. But the Toronto match didn't they didn't look bad like no but it's just like the, the way you dominated everyone's number one pick oh it's yeah like, they smoked it, yeah too. it's like holy shit like houston outlaws what the fuck is going on and then the next match you're like ah uh, houston outlaws <laughs> you know what i mean like but, and, and that's it's unfortunate i mean yeah. i'm wearing a houston outlaws jersey because i was so impressed by the pure domination because i'm a dallas fuel fan and when we watched them live play it was the Vancouver match was more entertaining, to be honest. Like, no, yeah. now don't get me wrong. It was fun seeing Pelican get a deadlift, but not against the team you're rooting for. Yeah. I think, like, okay, there's a few things about that match that's, like, weird to me. Um, I severely underrated how good Toronto is. I'm not saying these. this is, like, See, a I said in the Toronto-Washington matchup. Now, don't get me wrong. Washington won, but I still think Toronto is the better team. Okay. I, see... Mm. Of those my, two okay. teams, my take is Washington is a like I know no like joke intended like a wishy washy team. Yeah, because it's like they have the potential to do so much. They show like, up or they don't, and that was them last year too. Yes, but in their loss, in their loss against Dallas, they lost by one point on control. It was ninety nine to one hundred, one hundred to ninety nine, whatever. And then the next ones, it literally was like OT pushes or like this close to winning. So it was a three zero. But honestly, they could have won that match against Dallas, and they could have been 2-0 on the week. And I think that Toronto is just I, – what I took away from this whole, like, four-way of people beating each other is that Houston is the best of all those teams. I think Houston is undoubtedly better than Dallas and Toronto and Washington. But I think those chunk of three, like Toronto, Washington, Dallas, are probably just as good as each other. The, 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 it's pro just the problem with Dallas is they – clearly knew that fearless is most comfortable on Winston. Yeah. Winston was just not working against Doomfist. And so they panicked and put Hanbin in to play Zarya and Zarya is good, but not good enough to counter Doomfist. And so yeah, it's, it's like, like he, and, she, he's like, wasn't good enough to counter a good Doomfist. Yeah, exactly. Because when they so, played, when they played Washington, Mag is not a good Doomfist. You yeah. Know what I mean, so like that, that was the problem. So I think, he, I think Dallas is still, we're talking about stonks. I think Dallas is still going to, I, it, it's an L week. I think they, they got very humbled. But they, like, learned from it. But, yeah, I think they learned from it. And what I – because Sparkle we, – we've had this conversation multiple times over the last week. Like, Sparkle is known to be one of the best Genjis in the league. Yeah. And he kind of – He wasn't very good. No, he kind of shit the bed. But to be fair, like, people are talking about, wow, his blades don't look as good as um, Nero's blades yeah. and stuff like that. And, S, and Sam's, S9M's blade, however you want to say it. But it's like – Someone made a comment where it's like there's one less person to slice, one less person to dash through when you get your blades. So even if you get one kill, it's like solo grabbing someone in Overwatch 1 where it's like, you know what? That was enough to turn the fight. Yeah. No, no, that's clearly not what they were going for, but that's just the results they got. I was surprised that when you're down 2-0 already and you're getting hard rolled by Houston, there was no chance Dallas was going to take a map off of them that day. Um, Why did you not experiment and put sparkle on doomfist that that leads an open-ended question to me that's like because because that's his best hero and if houston proved that a dps can do it why can't sparkle yes, do it but that's my, his character but my, so that that concerned me with one it's either the coach like rush made a bad decision or two sparkle cannot figure out tank doomfist and that could that could be a thing you know what i mean because dante i was thinking he could like, just not like, be comfortable like it. dante could like was a decent doomfist but now we're realizing that tank doomfist dante is fucking top tier so that could be the reverse effect for sparkle he's god tier doomfist overwatch one but overwatch two it's like a different yeah, yeah. they would rather have fearless kind of yeah. int on his best hero than sparkle be like you know what i'm not really feeling this right now because it seemed like in that matchup specifically genji just was not the play and they just hard we're like, I'm going to bash my head into the wall and see if it works. <laughs> yeah, and they kind of like, and it's unfortunate. over and over, like it almost felt like they couldn't identify their problem or they identified it and did nothing about it. But, yeah. But 
I, I get the whole blading thing where it's like there's less people to go for. But if that was the case, players like S9M, players like even Psycho. Dude, Psycho on Vancouver Titans actually got some like pretty good blades against Boston. Yeah. Like he actually was a good Genji. And then like, I don't know. He I just was, wasn't okay. good in the neutral, Padifan, Padifan had like a weak. Padifan was struggling. Yeah, he had a weakish start. But, but he's his, a rookie. He's a yeah, rookie. His, him some slack. His, his blades were okay. You know what I mean? So like there were players that could do it. So like why couldn't Sparkle do it? And I think I it's just think because it, Houston was that much better though. Yeah, and I think point. it was that Houston was also playing Echo too. They weren't playing Genji. Well, oh, we've left out a huge thing for Houston. Holy fuck, their Ana is crap. Dude, fuck yes. How many times? He slept He slept Sparkle three times in Blade, slept uh, Fearless twice on Nano Monkey. Like, he wasn't missing. So yeah, Irish I, was I made the, I, I made the comment that if Irish doesn't hit half of those, we may have a different score. Like, I think Houston still wins, but I don't think it's a 3-0. Or it's, or it's still a 3-0, but it's not like, wow, this was a wash. Yeah, him we, and... We'd be talking about it just like you were talking about Washington versus Dallas, where it's like, they only lost, but they lost close games every time. Yeah, and like, uh, every time we I think back to this game, part of me is like, oh, like, Iris popped the fuck off on Ana without these, like, game-changing plays. They wouldn't have been there. But then I'm like, dude, but Pelican had a deadlift. Yeah. Like, he single-handedly won a map for them. Now, and then if, I'm like, if I had to pick who I think was the number one player for the weekend, I think Iris still should have won that. At least the player of the match for that match. Yeah. Like, I you know they gave it to Dante because it's like, holy crap, he's on a different role. <laughs> that was what I was he's say. dominating. Another but... thing I was going to say is, like, Dante came over and played an incredible Doomfist that no one was ready for. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, we're still leaving out, like, Lastro, who was able to flex onto Lucio, not feed and get kills. Yep. And then you have Merit. Who people were like underrating severely on hit scan, dude. Dominate, his, dude. He dominated. fucking dominated the hit scan in that game. Well, like, why, also, why Edison not, was ass. Yeah, bro. Edison was so bad. I, I mean, I'm a Dallas Fuel like Stan. You know what I mean? But why did we not see Doha? If uh, like I know you want to play hit scan, but if he's getting dominated that hard, even if Doha went in as May and fed just as much. <laughs> it, it, is there a difference? You know what I mean? Why did yeah. we not see well, Doha like, at all? Doha can flex to Soldier. He's done it before. Yes. And he's also can flex to, like, Tracer. He can flex to... He plays Sombra, so, like, Tracer isn't that much different. You, you know what I mean? Like and we saw Tracer gameplay. Yeah, so that is so strange to me that they just let fucking Edison just shit the bed for their team over and over again. Well, he also... We were talking about it, He went over to Widow in, in a whole yeah. round on Dorado. <laughs> After the whole first point, he had like 50 ult charge, and it's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. There's less shield to shoot. What? How are you? <laughs> like, because Widow's one of those characters where it's like you're either getting it done or you're not. Just like on for the LA Gladiators, he Yo, got he, it he done. He got it done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Another okay. Or Happy also. Yeah, Happy really fucking popped off, and Hisu popped the fuck off on Widow. Like my favorite play of the whole weekend was the grapple shot, dude. And after <laughs> after the first headshot, and then he grapples. Yes, he does it again. I'm like, oh my fucking god. I like, think they, uh, well. What was it leg day he was just like that's just literally not possible he yeah. does not hit those like <laughs> yeah that was incredible like okay that's what i was gonna say about toronto though is that that team this was a win of a weekend you absolutely stole away a win from that uh, from houston granted i think they're equalish in like strength but i do think that houston's better than them and i think they stole this win away with like like hisu playing out of his mind which by the way like i underrated hisu okay he's very 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 good on hit scan although i didn't expect it because his most memorable plays are on hanzo you know what i mean i remember watching him like destroy on hanzo and i was like well overwatch 2 he's not gonna play hanzo i don't know how his hit scan is it's good like his hit scan's really fucking good so like that's a team i can't underrate anymore because like i don't know i think they'll steal wins also from like dallas yeah too, so. and we and we said that in our like brackets that this this middle group of teams will still will steal games off of, like, the lower end of the top bracket. Yeah. Like, they're Although, not going to be winning any tournaments, but I they'll just, steal some games. I just didn't expect Dallas to be in that middle group <laughs> yeah. because I think there were two teams that stood out more than any team in terms of strength. Oh, yeah, San Francisco Shock and... And Atlanta Rain. Yeah, Atlanta Rain were good. But um, Gator, you're doing a lot of talking for being a bench player <laughs> on the guy. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I forgot he fucking was on the bench. Yeah, he was on the bench. Hawk, Hawk did great. Yeah, Hawk, Hawk did really good. Unsigned good. Gator. Why do you need him? Uh, <laughs> Why do you need him? He's not going to play Arisa oh, because man. even the desk even brought on one of their um, one of the devs and he was like, "All right, here's my hot take of the week or hot take of the season." They asked him, "Is what Arisa is going to get zero? You, you will never see Arisa in a game," is what he said. And I was like, "Holy shit, that's yeah. crazy!" And then guess what? The rest of the weekend we didn't see Arisa, so his theory still holds true. That's true. Now, 
the San Francisco thing, okay, right now, if you look at, like, the standings, San, oh, now granted, not, wait, every team did play twice. Did they all? Yeah, they did. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Okay, they're 2-0, 6 on map count. Now, they've played the London Spitfire and the Paris Eternal. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> they didn't have the strongest strength of schedule. But I still think that... But you they can did still the, perform, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can yeah. go out and be like a number... Like, you can be Alabama playing no a nobody Charlotte. team. <laughs> yeah, but it's like if you only win by by a touchdown, like okay, if you win yeah. 7-0, people are going to be like, what the fuck? I, I was going to say that... It's like came, a power ranking thing. Because you can still in, go down in rank if you beat... Even though you win that week, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Because it's like, that's a team you should dominate. So if you don't dominate, people are going to be like, what's going on? Are you not good or is Paris better? Yeah, and I think, like, it's funny that you bring that up because I remember watching, like, Alabama get their, like, fundraiser game, which is, like, they play, like, a really bad team mm -hmm. because they get money for it, whatever, um, because it brings in fans. And they'll, like, 59-0 a team. Like, that is what a number one team does. That's what you should be Dude, doing. San Francisco came in and, and got did that. <laughs> fucking 5Ks on blades. Their soldier got 4 Like, proper was insane. But, like, I think S9M performed better Yep. Just because it was Genji. Like, Genji was just more influential this this week than Soldier was. But even, like, on everything. Like, the only thing I will say is, like, Koluch didn't have these, like, pop-off moments. But it's kind of hard to pop off when you've got literally... When, when you have... All these when everyone's yeah. already dead. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even Finn, too. Like, they had moments where they're just, like... like Finn they, had some crazy antis. Yeah, they though. were like, oh, they won that fight because he anti four people or something. I was like, okay, everyone on this team is doing good. So... Yeah. And then the Atlanta Reign, they actually... Okay, they did lose a map, but they played a harder team. Like, the New York Excelsior game, they stomped. Like, you know, sorry. Yeah, they <laughs> that stomped. Sucks. I like New York. That's one of my favorite teams. But then they played Florida Mayhem, who are better than we expected. And they'll get better because XC isn't playing yet, but he's supposed to come over, like, this week or the next week. So yeah, because they were talking about the support <laughs> losing his job. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which, based off of some of the gameplay, he will definitely lose his job. <laughs> Unfortunate. So, like, but they still, I mean, they still played really, really well in those matches. So, it, to me, it's like... Well, we can get into this now. Um, the like new power ranking, like I don't know if you can see my screen. I've yeah. got all the teams here, anyways. Like if I were to like arrange my new power ranking, like going into next week without looking at who plays who, uh, do you have like your top five maybe? Yes, I have. Like in order. In order, San yeah. Francisco Shock at number one. Yeah, that's crazy that I'm fucking so smart, huh? Atlanta Rain, <laughs> and then uh, okay. I I would say. I would put... I've got a hot take. So, although they have a loss, I'd still put Houston oh, number three. Oh, yes, that's what I was going to fucking yeah, say. Yeah, I would still put Houston number three. And then I'd put LAG. Okay. And then I'd put Dallas. And uh, LAG is only above Dallas because they did, in fact, go 2-0. and oh. Now, Patty Fan is definitely going to be... <laughs> he, I mean, he even said it himself on Twitter. He, he might become a liability. Like, there's times where he did show up, but then yeah. most of the time he kind of didn't now i will were, say they played close against new york too yeah and new york got stomped, stomped. by yeah, fucking yeah. atlanta so. and i will say though reiner on a, as a tank rookie i feel like he did really good he, on he, did, he did really yeah i was gonna say their standout to me wasn't even kevster because i feel like you expect kevster to be good and kevster was good he was he, good yeah yeah but against like i don't know i feel like he was matched by Yaki when they played New York. Well, but, but Yaki is like Yaki, though. <laughs> you know what I mean i know i know but they're in the same echelon of player yeah yeah but then like I feel like Flora kind of hurt their DPS exactly, chances yeah, against yeah. them. But and, but Flora still performed better than Patty Fan. Yeah, he kind of did. Yeah. So I will say that. Like, Flora yeah. underperformed, and he still but was better than Patty Fan. I know you watched the match against Boston also, and that was also a close match. Like, mm -hmm. to me, I feel like... But Boston, surprisingly, like, they, 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 they're they not still terrible. look good. Yeah, 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 yeah they still look good. But lower middle of the pack team, granted, you should still probably not be dropping too many maps to them, but got to give Boston some credit. They they were pretty good. Yeah. And Stry Stryker showed up. I, I know I had my he speculation. Did. You know, Stryker did show up. They did a whole little, like, top five plays of the week. And, like, I totally missed it, I guess, where fucking Stryker comes in with a 5K on Visor. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's I know you're not fucking aiming, but it's still, like, you still had to... There's still timing. Be, there's still positioning. There's more to it. There, we yeah, had people yeah. sitting behind us at the San Antonio Overwatch event, and they are like, <laughs> every time a Nano Visor would come out, they'd be like, ooh, Nano, nano Visor, or it's ooh, like, Nano Blade. And then finally, one of their friends humbled them and said, but could you do that? I know. It's like, because you say that to fucking Edison, because he could yeah, not yeah, be... Yeah, he, he couldn't do it. <laughs> okay, so my take on that is people forget that, like... I guess they only assume that the DPS players on the team are the actual professionals. That, like, the Ana that you're trying to kill on the other team <laughs> isn't number one in the world. Like, if you try to dash Finn on Genji, 
I think there's a high percentage chance that you will be a slut. slut. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and then people are like, like, ooh, that means that Genji's bad. And it's like, no, Genji can have a pop-off play, and so can Ana. And we saw that in Iris with Houston Outlaws. Yeah, and like it's like you fucking forgot that Iris, they placed second last year in yes, the Overwatch League. Exactly. Pelican and Iris did. So, like, yeah, they you can't really just fuck around and expect to win. Yeah. And then it's a bit of, You also can't discredit someone for just having one bad game, except for Edison. Yeah. And like Dante, I know the move to tank is probably hard, but Dante has one of the highest SR combinations of any player ever in Overwatch, where he had a combined 4,700, which is like on tank support and dps at one point he was number one in the world yeah that's, that's, cr- that's fucking, fucking insane crazy. just getting like, 4700 is hard alone yeah but as like he was able to be number one in each ladder and he doesn't even play support or tank like you know what i mean so like there's a lot of game sense that goes into that um so i think the only thing that actually mine might be really similar to yours i think i'll put san francisco at number one right now i think oh, solely off their dps i think is better than atlanta after what i saw like it wasn't bad. Nero didn't really. Fuck I would say their for... support's better than their honor players better than Atlanta. You think, Reigns. dude? I don't think so. I think <laughs> okay. I didn't mention this in the whole like takeaways. Uh, the best honor in the whole league right now is definitely Ultraviolet. I think Iris had in- an incredible impact, but I feel like what we saw from Ultraviolet was almost okay. I think they're even. I take it back. Iris and Ultraviolet, and then it's probably Finn. And I don't think it's like a huge gap. But I, just, just... I feel like Finn's survivability was so. Dude, like he, like he never got, died. Okay, the difference though is that you have proper and you have S9M like dominating for you. But that's but you know what I mean. Like you can say that though. Like like you don't get drafted to a D1. You're not a five star recruit if your team's dog shit. You know I know, I mean? but you can't be a good kicker if you've got a shitty offensive line. Or like you know what I mean. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like he still has to like he still had his own plays when everyone else is taking the spotlight still. So it'd be different if he just kind of yeah, sat there behind a double shield. To me, you know what like, I mean? okay, the only thing I didn't see from Finn, though, I saw the purples, right, right? I didn't see the, like, the, like, ultraviolet 2Ks and almost yeah. 3Ks in the kill feed. I didn't see the, like, this guy just got fucking nano slept. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't have those plays because he, there weren't people to kill for him. I'm, grant- I'm sure he could fucking do it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But until they play a good team, it's hard for me to be, like, the impact is coming from their Ana and not their DPS, where we saw the impact from Iris. We saw the impact from o- uh, OG and Ultraviolet. I don't know. Like, that's... I feel like Ultraviolet was literally smurfing, like, against when they're fucking rashes. Like, it kind of looked like he was unfazed. Like, he was playing, just like... Like, he had, like, the most fucking monotone look on his face. He's like, all right, cool, we won. Like, yeah. he, like, did not care. I don't know. Um, But, yeah, I still... But it doesn't matter. I still think San Francisco's better. And then probably Atlanta Rain dude I, i'm also putting houston outlaws above lag because of their like peak potential like i think they'll peak higher than lag is well, right now nobody had a better game than houston outlaws playing dallas yeah that's true and against the team that's supposed to be number one and you can say that you can like you can argue till you're blue in the face that like nero had a 5k s and i had a 5k <laughs> it's like okay sure but like no one played better than houston yeah that that team right there that specific game could be immortalized in like the Overwatch Hall of yeah. Fame for like a fucking stomp that wasn't supposed to happen because that was so much better than their than Houston Outlaws beating San Francisco last year at the opener. Yeah. And oh everyone, no. Yeah. Everyone's I think like, was better. And yeah, everyone's yeah. like, "Holy shit, that play!" Blah blah blah. I mean, whole. I mean, we literally had a deadlift against the number one ranked team yeah. going into it. And if if they won that match against Toronto, I might fucking put them above one of atlanta or san francisco or both like it's it's hard to tell yeah but, but it's like yes they lost but you can't really take away because toronto was a bright spot in the middle of the yeah team. they actually were underrated so for now i think houston is probably number three I, toronto definitely doesn't need to be ranked number nine on this list yeah yeah unfortunately i'm, I'm gonna keep going. i know this is a number based bracket yeah but... i'm gonna keep going down on my list on power rankings at least i, I put a houston above lag honestly i want to see dallas play los angeles gladiators really bad because I honestly don't think I know who wins. I think Dallas is will do- Fearless's monkey better than Reiner's monkey because Reiner looked really good. And yeah. I know Fearless is the number one monkey in the league, but he looked bad. Like he yeah, just he did. did. Yeah. But I think Han Bin Zarya will, will carry them through games against the middle of the pack teams. I yeah. think when they start playing good teams, they need to have a better Because he is team. one of the best, if not the best, Zarya. Oh, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. So it, if they with, just need to find a comp that like lets Zarya shine. Dude, they need to do what like Houston did, where they're like, we know Genji's meta. We're playing. We're playing uh, Echo. 
like yeah. or these teams that were like hey we know that's good but we're gonna play ryan may cassidy <laughs> oh freaking the spitfire <laughs> the spitfire like forced reinhardt dude yes every I time know. and it works yes i know i'm like you're the only team that is doing that what is going on and it's working so yeah there were a couple times where they're like we they're like we understand we're not good at this comp so this is what we're gonna do yeah or like uh washington justice pulled out diva like mm -hmm. they were the only team really that played it consistently enough that i was like maybe that could work you know what i mean um it's like if you're good enough at an off comp you can still win games yeah yeah, yeah. that's like if you what, what what's hard double shield what beats double shield right yeah like dive oh you're asking me yeah yeah okay yeah but if you play just a good reinhardt rush and you're just like the best at reinhardt rush you'll you'll beat some double, run shield over double shield yeah, yeah. exactly but yeah. if you're um like a middle of the pack reinhardt team that knows rush only you're gonna get shit stomped by a good double shield yeah yeah like you can break metas yeah it, obviously it's that, like, ha that happened with goats like yeah you can like break, when, break the goats meta if you're just good at what you're picking right yeah now. like when that always makes me think of like when when ball beat goats and it was like it at its peak goats is probably better but it was like they were so good at this ball comp that mm -hmm. it beat goats like, exactly so, um so i'll put yeah lag at probably underneath houston at four and then dallas at five and then i'm actually okay with florida where they're almost where they're at they're right now they're tied for fifth I think tied for fifth with the London Spitfire. <laughs> Nobody would have told you that. Okay. Nobody. This dude. This is a strange thing to say. I think the sixth best team, like after Dallas and Houston and LA and Atlanta and San Francisco, it might be Toronto. It might be Toronto, and it might be Florida. And look then, at the strength of schedule too for Toronto. You know what I mean? That like their one and one is less like hurtful. Yeah. Oh, they played what Washington and Houston. Or, yeah. Yeah, Washington and Houston. They played good. And, and, and the Washington and Houston, or the Washington and Toronto game was everyone was like it could go either. way. Like I know the desk predicted Toronto. I predicted Toronto, but it truly could have gone either way. Yeah. It, yeah, it could have. I think. And then they take it off of the team that looked that's the so second best. Be tough though. I think at their peak though, maybe Washington is better. Like if we're going into the next week, I think Toronto will do better than Washington because right now they're just playing better. So I think I'd put. Washington and then I mean Toronto and then Washington and then Florida um that Florida team if they have XC they'll be higher but for right now I still like kind of don't believe in this Florida team like at all um it's hard to invest money into Florida yeah the Florida 3-1 Paris and Paris looked god awful yeah Paris looked dog Dude, shit they looked Naga really Khan so then after those middle of the pack teams okay London, Naga, London is London is somewhere. Don and Con, I mean, yeah, yeah. Don looks bad. London split games, but like the team they beat was fucking Vancouver Titans. And granted, Vancouver Titans almost beat Boston. Hey, they got your they got your your player, man. Vancouver does. Which one? Uh, Shockwave, dude. <laughs> What's his okay. name? Is that his name? Yeah. Hey, he did he did do good on Soldier though. Yeah, yeah. I no, will no, say, he's a good like, player. Hey, he was good. He just plays for a bad team. Even now, that team is just kind of cheeks, honestly. <laughs> like, I didn't realize that their DPS line was Shockwave Aspire. They've got a good DPS, DPS line. line yeah. It's just like, bro, the rest of the team sucks. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, don't they have Masa as their support, though? I think that, so. Oh, good on Lucio. So it's like, how did this team fail? Um, so if we're looking at against the, <laughs> the, the worst ranked team, apparently. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the barrel teams. All right, here it comes. Last place team right now. Paris Eternal. Paris yeah. looks bad. Yeah, I think Paris is the worst team. And then I'm probably going to put Vancouver they next. They should have signed FD God. They should have. <laughs> he, he tweeted, he tweeted that. that he's yeah, still yeah. waiting. He's still <laughs> waiting. Hey, it's after week one. All those teams that got shit on. Yeah. By okay. the way, I'm here. Paris is the worst. And then Vancouver. And then New York. And then Boston. And then London. He's going think, up, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was confusing. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, wait. <laughs> they're yeah, the worst. And then at, there's negative yeah, bad teams. If we're looking at the bottom five. London's the top of the bottom five. They're good enough to win matches. Yes. Okay. It, well, okay. Until someone is just like, all right, I'm actually just going to break <laughs> yeah. this Reinhardt's comp. Like, yeah, yeah. For now, London's the top of the bad. And then you've got Boston, fucking New York, Vancouver, Paris. It I know, I know everyone that. says the Bread Bowl is London and Vancouver. I think these bottom five teams <laughs> qualify as Bread Bowl matches every yeah. time they play each other. I think, the okay, then let's say of going forward, of these bottom teams, who do you think is most likely to like turn it around quickly? Like right now, New York. Can, okay, fuck yes, New York. Can New York turn it has around. a chance. They just they're just figuring it out, man. Yeah. Hey, you know what? They won a match. Aren't they already better than the Breach? 
What do you mean? A match? Like a round? Yeah. Aren't they already just better than the Breach? Haven't the Breach not won anything in COD? No, it's not the Breach. Okay, the teams that suck in COD right now are like Paris blows a dick. No, no, no. But who is that new team that like yeah. sucks that has Clayster on it? No, 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 no. Oh, New York Subliners. Subliners. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This they're is, better than the Subliners. Yeah, already. they're better than the Subliners, but this is going to sound crazy. They're carrying the NYXL name. Okay. With one win <laughs> or with one map win. Yeah. Okay. That team, the NYXL, they changed another player and they just won a tournament yesterday. Damn, RIP my fucking Yo, take. They beat, they beat 100 Thieves in the grand finals, but to get there, like 100 Thieves beat out like FaZe and Optic, and then they smoked 100 Thieves. Like, Damn, L Optic. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the team they'll turn around. Okay, so quickly, we'll go into next week's matches. There's going to be 369 matches, a little bit less than this past week. Still but... no APAC. Dude, yeah, no, I just talk about that. Yeah. Okay, also, I need to fucking mention something really quick before we get into okay. pickums. Okay, it, it was coming. Um, All right. We were doing this whole like, let's see who's gonna have the best picks for the whole week. Let me pull mine up. Okay. Let me pull my leaderboard up. First off, oh, I got ranked higher. Did you really? Yeah, two thousand <laughs> spots higher. <laughs> <laughs> that spoils. Okay, I'm going to spoil my one that I don't eventful. Uh, I am ranked in the world. This is in the world, though. So, mind you, there's probably a lot of people playing. I probably bet. a lot of people. Yeah. Wait, can you scroll down to see the lower people? Or? No. Oh, does it just go fucking yeah, forever? Yeah, just okay, go yeah. fucking for eons. Um, this is you, is what it says. Rank 4,749th. Okay. Um, I'm tied for third in the whole world. So, <laughs> let me just talk my shit really quick, okay? Um, my, my mishaps, this is where I could have been number one in the world right now. First off, I've got 30 points. Second place is 31. First He's place. actually ranked 17. No, no, no. Listen, it's 17 through like six. And then there's a few people that have 31 points and then one person has 32. Okay. So technically it's like third, you know what I mean? Oh. I have the third most points in the world. Okay. Third most points. That's yeah. Yeah. Well, it's third place. What? We don't, the T, like the top, whatever, the tide. Merc your ass. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck them. Um, I, okay. That's going to be on the screen in I'm the Overwatch League. I'm fucking two points away from number one right now. And, like, my fuck up was thinking that Houston was going to smoke Toronto after they beat Dallas because I just anticipated Toronto being, or I mean, I anticipated Houston just being that much better. And then that fucking London game, bro. Dude. London beating Vancouver? <sighs> London that, has that, okay. terrible players. I lost both of those as well. Yeah. Okay. Hottie, cool. He can play Reinhardt. You can beat that fucking comp, dude. There's I, so many <laughs> other tanks that beat Reinhardt. Right Listen, now. pull out Arisa. I bet you Arisa beats a Reinhardt comp right now in Overwatch 2. Okay. He didn't have a sick play where he shattered it <laughs> on him and then pinned her. And I always forget, even when I was playing Overwatch 2, playing Reinhardt on King's Row, I would just continue my pin. If oh, I missed, yeah. I forget you can cancel it. <laughs> yeah. He shattered on him pinned her, and then stopped the pin at the edge of the map and threw her off. And I was like, wait, yeah. actually sickening. Like, he's got a, they've got a good thing going for them right now. And let them have their moment. Yeah. This is as many games as they've won in the last two years. Yeah. <laughs> Combined. So, so like, I, this guy that's in first place right now, whoever you are, Merc your ass, you got one of these matches right. <laughs> you got one of these matches right, and I want to know which one it is. Because... How the fuck did you know that London was going to be Vancouver with a DPS line like Aspire and Shockwave and Moss on the team? To me, this is a team that's set up to be better than last place. And London with what? Sparker? Like Shax? Like that DPS line is really not that good. EU contenders, they're good. That's about it. Okay. And then the Toronto game, no fucking shot. You thought the Heese was going to be lease. Like whatever the fucking saying is for Heesu. Because you know, like oh. the goose is loose. They're like the Heese is lease against a pelican like you know what i mean like there's no shot you thought that was gonna happen so like who who are you insider and, and, trading okay, with? okay unless he didn't adjust his picks unless this is like straight up from the beginning you know what i mean where he was like i'm not watching any games i'm just this is my prediction i'm not changing him because we did change them yeah after yeah, yeah. after the oh, day yeah, one yeah, and day yeah, two yeah. you know what i mean so like if he if he just put that out there you know what i mean yeah the only other that'd thing be that, like the way i could think about it the only other thing i can think of is that because then you would still be predicting houston not good but you're oh. like maybe they'll be the houston from last year and just win their first game yeah but and if then that fall was off. Oh, okay i was gonna say if that was the case then he would have guessed them losing to dallas but no. if you're thinking it was like last year yeah the only thing i can think of is i got almost every single map score right of the weekend including like three ones three o's there was a there's like 
two or three that I got the score wrong on, he could have gotten the same exact picks as me, but got those two map scores right, which would be fucking incredible. So like I'm gonna post. He would have had a perfect weekend then. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Of apart scores, from apart of from scores. apart from the two losses, losses. because I think but that everyone, means every win that he predicted, he predicted correctly. That's yeah, fucking that's, nuts. That's nuts. I got like 90% of them right, and that's incre- incredible. So I'm posting this on fucking Reddit. Fuck you, Merc Your Ass. I'm coming for your first place spot. I, I, this I'm week. I'm coming for your ass. I know I'm you're going to want. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no, no. Pause, pause, pause. I got to cut that. Wait. I'm really going to post on Reddit. You can't fucking say that. Um, I, I'm going to put my Preds alive on this podcast, and you're going to copy my ass, and I know you are because I'm a genius. So, like, if you're really big brain, don't, don't steal my picks, all right? I got to pick an upset. All right, let's move on to the picks. Okay. <laughs> okay. First off, Florida Mayhem versus the Vancouver Titans. Wait, I'm going to do my picks while we're talking about oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'll do them when I get them. <clears throat> well, I'll talk about this first. We Vancouver, Florida. Okay. If XC comes back like he's supposed to. I have Florida Mayhem <clears throat> winning 3-0. I have them winning 3-1. I think if XC comes back, it'll be 3-0. I think I'll wait later in the week to adjust it um, to see. Um, if I not, I, I feel like they have... I'll adjust scores in and out. My scores aren't locked. I'm just doing this for now. Yeah, I think Vancouver is really bad at adjusting. Um, and Florida is a team that's just like... We'll we're play some we're weird fucking shit. quirky. So, like, yeah, speaking, speaking of quirky... Uh, okay. No, no, wait, wait until oh, we okay, fucking we'll finish this. Yeah, yeah. um, so, Florida, I could see winning this pretty handily. But there's still this off chance that... They get stuck playing against like when when like Florida is like down in the fucking dumps and they're like, oh, we gotta pull out the fucking monkey or something. And then like, okay, well now like Vancouver has a chance. Um, so yeah, three one. San Francisco Shock versus the Houston Outlaws. Oh, fuck. I have that. Oh. I have the Shock winning three one. Oh fuck. Shock look good. Shock. Yeah, I, but... I don't want to be a Shock fanboy <laughs> because I know it's so easy to be one. Well, but yeah, it's fun. To I don't know where I'm wearing a Houston Outlaws jersey, <laughs> but okay, you got to respect. You, where, got to give respect where it's due. This is so hard. Nero ha- showed that he doesn't just play Torb. Just kidding. Nero's, Nero's, Nero's not. Nero's oh yeah, never mind. Team. Nero's on Atlanta. Yeah, yeah Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. He played for seven. Yeah, 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 he did. He did. He um, did. dude. Oh, I I got it because you know one of these picks I've got to like pick an upset clearly if I want to win because there's going to be an upset, but I think San Francisco wins this. Probably, I'll, I'll change the last one to three zero. This one to three one. San Francisco. I think there's no shot that Pelican just goes out like with a fizzle. But dude, I would not be surprised if Houston wins this fucking match. Um, just because they'll tank diff them. I have that. Like, don't you think there'll be this like sneaking suspicion suspicion that Dante goes Doomfist and Coluge can't play Doomfist? <laughs> like, if there's one player I'm I don't think can flex from what I've seen in contenders over to like something crazy like Doomfist, it'd probably be Coluge. Um, Atlanta Rain versus Washington Justice. 3 0. Atlanta Rain. Whoa! Bro, I almost predicted Washington. <laughs> what? Um, you think Atlanta's problem is their tank, right? Oh, wait. You just think, oh, Hawk's good, but. Yeah, Hawk's good. I just think that Gator just. He doesn't play a. Not that Gator's bad. He just. His hero isn't meta. I know. It's unfortunate. But I think that if we watch the Washington match. Mag played incredible on the Winston. Like he was probably one of the better Winstons of the weekend. I haven't seen the second Washington match. Okay, as a sp- his like monkey tech is still there, and I think if like if they force Atlanta into playing monkey, like Washington could beat them. But I think that like okay, I'll, I'll three one it. You'll three one it. Three one it. <laughs> okay, give me Atlanta three one also. I think feel like I'll give Washington one time to surprise them, and then they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I see my upset coming up down here, and then that's when I'll pick it. Okay. <laughs> Lon- I hope it's not this next one. <laughs> London versus Boston. I think Boston wins 3 1. I think Boston also wins. I'm going to say 3 2. I, I almost think- put 3 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This but is- I'm just like, Dude, this is another I'm, one of those like, battle of fucking but, bozos, yes, bro. But I'm, scared, I'm scared that London's just going to only play Reinhardt. And so <laughs> if, he, if they do that, it's a 3 1. I think, again, you steal a match because you're like, I'm the only team playing Reinhardt at a good level. But yeah. then after that, they're going to be like, all right, fuck this guy. Like, I will say, what what's crazy to me, though, is that how does a team... Okay, if you see Hottie playing Reinhardt, dude, he is not the best Reinhardt in the league. No. You don't think fucking one of these other tanks could just be like, watch me do yeah, it. Yeah, check this out. 
<laughs> like, or even just go sim. Charge up on that bitch's shield. <laughs> What's he gonna do about it? Nothing. Yeah, I know. Um, There's okay. a team that did do that. Someone played sim the whole Wait, round. They fucking did. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think even Washington did that. I'm pretty sure Decay pulled out Sim because he just like no is known to play Sim Symmetra a lot. Um, okay, Dallas Fuel versus mm. the Gladiators. And I think this is where everyone is gonna pick LAG to win because they're like Dallas is a shitter team. They can't fucking beat Houston. <laughs> Take give me Dallas three one. Ooh, I have Dallas three two. Okay, that's, I think that's the fair, DPS that's line is better on Dallas. I think so too. I think I think, but I think that Reiner's monkey at this current moment, from what we saw, good, is dude. better than Fearless's monkey in Overwatch two. In Overwatch two, yeah, in Overwatch yeah, yeah. two. There's no <laughs> monkey better than, than yeah. Fearless. Fearless's monkey in Overwatch one is incredible. I think like a Sparkle doesn't have one of these like maybe you know what could have been honestly Fearless not making enough space for Sparkle to perform. Well, that's also it to. because it's harder to like one v one someone on Genji. I think because like there is a lot of peel. Like Lucy, they were saying Lucio can literally peel, and that's enough peel that that's all the peel you need. Yeah. Because, and I just yeah, I don't think I think the tanks really struggled for Dallas. Yeah, I still think though that like the Gladiators kind of had a like not great week. Like they played two bad teams and they lost a map to both of them. I think so. Yeah, I don't think you, I don't know, dude. Losing that map to Paris kind of like rubs me the wrong way. Losing the map to the problem uh, is okay. So I think Sparkle. This is how I think the DPS rankings go, and this is why this pick's so hard for me. I think it goes Sparkle, Hepster, Ons, Edison. Because Ons showed up, and everyone was like, Ons, he, Ons had not been in the league. You know what I mean? He gets mad. He doesn't play. Yeah, Ons yeah. showed up, and Ons fucked. Yeah, but. Think about the teams that he was playing against because the I, only competition still, you still have to hit the headshot you do it's mechanical but, skill at that but point. the player that you're playing against is incredibly different than okay i know edison was really bad this week if you're going up i think he killed he wins the 1v1 against edison's soldier almost every time now is he going to be headshotting sparkle on genji doubt it yeah but he wasn't playing fucking soldier i mean um ons wasn't playing soldier though no 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 I know. I'm saying Ons. If Ons played Widow this next oh, week, oh, okay. I was like, the only dude, person that's going to be able to contest him is Sparkle on Genji, and then hopefully Fearless on Monkey. Yeah. Other than that, like Edison doesn't stand a chance. And even if it's for whatever reason Ons is like isn't getting it done on Widow, I, he could pull out Soldier. And, I mean, he could. And, yeah. And, and but I you think know, anyone he, in the league Soldier right now is better than Edison Soldier. But you know who he pulls out instead though? He pulls out Ash. Which would still be probably better than Edison Soldier. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the yeah. only thing, the wild card is if Dallas gives Doha some playtime. We haven't seen it. I I think if you're Dallas, yeah, you're right. I think you give Doha playtime, and I think you reconsider your tank comp. And we've seen May get played. Florida played May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that would require you to play Reinhardt, and I just think they won't do that because yep. Coach Rush is like, I had to big brain this. I think if they go Zarya, and then they, I think Dallas succumbed to wanting <clears> to big brain too much. Like yeah, wanting to predict like they the meta wanted, too they, hard. Yeah, yeah. So I think if they go Zarya, they have a good chance in this match. Um, <sighs> fuck, dude. I have you, Dallas when you, too. Yeah, when you talked about the DPS, though, it was kind of like... <sighs> I know Ons like, did really well, but if they're going to play this Genji shit and they're going to put Patafan on Genji, I think he's he had a poor enough performance that I'd probably be like, yeah, Edison is going to do better than him. But then you... What okay, it, well, Patafan, yeah. yeah. Like, Patafan <laughs> is at the bottom of that list. Yeah, Edison like, beats Patafan Genji because Patafan <laughs> wasn't winning any fights in the neutral. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. He, he had decent blades, and that was all you can say. Yeah. So then what do you value more then? Do you value your hit scan being better, or do you value your flex DPS being better? Because I think your flex DPS being better because hit scans kind of hurt her. Like so then every, you, so even then, a flex DPS can play hit scan. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So then, at least majority of the time. So then it's kind of like, do you think Sparkle's going to outperform Kepster? And I kind of think he does on. Genji. Well, because Kepster only played oh, Echo, well, Echo and yeah, Tracer. Yeah, yeah, Kepster didn't play Genji. Yeah, he played Echo Tracer. That's it. Now he can oh, play. But Genji. You know what? He can if, play. If they pull out Echo, I think. Um, yeah. Sparkle's a better Echo than Kepster. Well, also though, if they if the Glads pull out Echo, can Edison kill Echo? <laughs> because he clearly he clearly couldn't with Happy. Oh, but that, but that was but that was with a Mercy pocket, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. Tough. But I don't think the Glads play Mercy. 
by any means. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> This I don't is know. spicy. This is the know. game to watch, I would say, for next week. It, it's this it's this match or the San Francisco Houston match. Um, oh yeah. God, but I, I forgot that one. I, but this one I feel like it has more chance of going five maps. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think Dallas wins this. Um and we'll move on. Vancouver versus New York. I'm A fucking you know battle what? the bozos again, bro. Battle, it is battle <laughs> the bozos. I'm giving it the, this is gonna be my one that I think is like my weird pick. Oh, uh, I'm going out. I'm going New York three one. Yeah, I'm pretty team New York also. I'm not giving up on this team yet. This is a team. Yeah, I was gonna say this, this is my one. This, this is my team, last man. chance to give them. <laughs> okay. Give them like my, my call sign because after that, I need to know if the patch is gonna be through for this next week because that would be incredible information. But I. That's fair. Potential for New York is too high. I think three one New York, <laughs> Excelsior. Okay, last three: Houston versus Florida. Uh, this is a close one. I think even with XC, I still give it to. Houston. I say Houston three one. Um, I, I just I don't feel like you see enough game fives in Overwatch to ever put a three two. Yeah, you also don't see a lot of three O's unless it's like a very clear like yeah. this team is better than that team. Except for well, I was gonna say at least Dallas, last yeah. year you saw a lot of three O's because yeah, I feel yeah. like there was like the best <laughs> and then everyone else. But this you know what I mean? these two teams I don't see that, mm-hmm. and I think I see a three one. Yeah, I see three one Houston, um, San Francisco, New York. Okay, give me the three zero. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I was like, I'm not even gonna put a one in New York. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, okay. if it's not one of those top five teams, San Francisco's not losing a map, unfortunately. That's true, yeah. uh, Paris, Toronto is the last match. Three zero, unless Paris plays Sigma, because I don't remember his name, but his Sigma disgusting. Nestola. Yes, oh, yeah. his Sigma is different. He got like a 4K on Sigma. <laughs> I was like, oh, brother, this guy, yeah. it was on a freaking... Midtown? No, 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 no. It was on the, the F1 map. F1 map? Yeah, the, the racer, like the car. What map is that? Oh, you mean like the payloads are racer? Yeah, yeah. What? It's, uh, it's the one in Monaco. Oh, Coliseo? <laughs> what? Mon- Coliseo's in Italy. Monaco, it's a... Uh, New I, Queens, no, yeah, New Queen Street. Oh, no, yes. no, no, wait, that's Toronto. No, that's Toronto. No, what the fuck is that map? <laughs> look it up. I don't, I don't you know. know that, like no, I don't know the names of maps, so it doesn't matter. But okay, it's the I, one that the mayhem TP'd oh, over. Wait, wait, um, where the where it goes up? up oh, the Circuit street. Royale. Circuit Royale. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. And Sigma's good on that map too. Yeah, they even said it like Sigma's good on this map, and then they literally played Sigma, and he actually did. Re- that was the bright spot for Paris, right there. I think. Yeah. The only. Um, I think Paris could get away with playing Echo also. Just but I still because... think it's a Toronto 3 0. Oh, yeah, I think it's 3 0 also. I think Naga's really good to learn Echo because he played Far so well, but Toronto is just kind of sneaky, dude. Like, guess that team we, is sneaky. Guess what good. we get to see week three. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I didn't scroll to week, week three. Week three is only APAC? <gasps> yes. Oh, it also has other matches, too. There's just a lot of fucking matches week three. Good God. Yeah. Is there well, any because fucking, it's, yeah, oh. it's West. Both regions are playing in week Yo, three. and there's a fucking club banger with Gladiators versus San Francisco. Dude, and Chengdu versus Seoul. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait, who does Shanghai play? They play Philly. Philly and Hangzhou. Hangzhou. And then Guangzhou. And, and then, yeah. Uh, well, oh, I see. That's week four. Yeah. Okay. So Shanghai's going to go 2 0. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we won't forget that far in the future, but. Chengdu 1 1. Dude, that's. That's nuts. What yeah. a fucking... Actually, At least there's a banger map every week. That's true. Or banger matchup. What a fucking cool week. Honestly, uh, every week had that banger matchup. Houston decided to deliver. <laughs> uh, now, if this would, if this is your first fucking time watching the Easy Clap podcast, uh, we do a little thing called the Easy Clap of the Week. Yep. This goes to absolute bozos. Yeah, like you were you were the the bottom of the barrel or the laughing stock of the week. And it's not just <laughs> Overwatch. It's anything. <laughs> I've mentioned mine already, but I know... I, I think I agree with yours. You think you know who it is? Yeah. Okay, it's not a it's team. A, it's Myungbong. Okay, no, no, no. Cause, it's, oh, because... Okay, that's... Well, that's mine. I know it, that's it's, yours. It's I was going to say, I was gonna say mine's why, different. Why are you running? Why are you running? That's all I could think about. <laughs> Yo, I'm so fucking... Okay, because we watched it in person, it had a bigger impact on me. But, dude, watching <sighs> Edison it. fucking oh, okay, feed okay, 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 okay. 24-7? Ooh, I thought you were at the Comfort Spark Hall. No, no, no. I okay. have to, like... Show off the guns. Sparkle's here. weekend overall was mediocre, it but was. he had highlights. Edison did not have highlights. Edison dude. had low lights. <laughs> like, low okay, lights. I know you can't predict Merritt being that good on DPS. Oh, okay, you could predict Merritt being that good on DPS just because of his contenders performance. But Edison, okay, Edison signed for um, Shanghai at one point. 
but he never got play time. Um, but he played on Atlanta when Atlanta was decent and he performed really well. Um, so like he's a good hit scan player. I don't really see I didn't see the problem with him go matching up against Merritt, especially when you've got like Sparkle on your side to back you up. Um, not granted, you got like two rookies, like two rookie of the years previously between like Sparkle and Pelican. I know Pelican won it, but it's same thing. Like, I don't know, dude. You just can't you can't get fried like that. Like and he got fucking Kentucky fried, bro. Yeah, he so, really did. He's got of the week. Um that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, you can find us on Spotify and What's the other one called? Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Tic Tac. At uh, Easy Clap Podcast. Um, I'm Jonah underscore Christ on Twitter. Um, I'm a Sean Thompson 10 oh, underscore. Shit. I, almost said, <laughs> I almost gave you my gamer tag. That's why. Sean Thompson 10 underscore on Twitter. Also, talk Overwatch I'm on King Twitter. I'm Slayer 69 on yeah. Reddit. <laughs> Dragon Angel. Uh, have you seen that account on TikTok? It's like Dragon oh. Ang- Angel Demon Slayer. Oh my god, Slayer. the little kid. Or like yeah. he's like the fucking like he's 13 like a, year old. Yeah, or he's something. like an actual meme. But um, <laughs> you can find me at Soapy Dishwater on Twitch. That's where this is being streamed live every Monday if you want to see it live or you can just see it Tuesday when it drops on YouTube. And listen, you have every reason to listen because you've got the fucking. The fucking god, the, the okay, bread god. You know, okay. if I get these breads super wrong, I could be. I'm gonna feel really fucking Watch, bad. He's gonna shit talk my four thousandth place, and he'll end up below me. Like honestly, it's just week one, and I want to flex and got the screenshots for it. Well, I take but, that back. You can't. We we have the same picks actually this week, so I can't. It's good for, that's good for you, dude. Um, well, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, that's pretty much it from us. Peace.